big weekend at MetLife Stadium. Game aside, Stealth Black Helmet debuted to Brickishaw Ferguson, Ring of Honor. Yeah, and Jets fans are going to be there. The Brickishaw Ferguson was there throughout his career. Missed one snap because of a trick play over 10 seasons. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill presented by HCL Tech. The Jets and Patriots set to square off in Week 8 with the Jets looking for their fifth consecutive win and have a chance to be 6-2. and two. Yeah, the Jets have a two-game lead inside the AFC East over the New England Patriots. Of course, the Buffalo Bills are in first place. The Jets will actually see them next week. But you'll have, you would have to go a ways back to find the last time a Bill Belichick coach Patriots team was looking up at the Jets in the division at this point of the year. In fact, I think you had to have to go back to 2002. That's the last time the Jets won the division. The Patriots, the only team inside the division with a record under 500. The Jets have stressed making hay inside the AFC East. They already beat the Dolphins at home. Let's see if they can take down the Pats. And then, of course, the next week, another AFC East opponent. But let's not get ahead of our skis here for this week. This is the first game without Brees Hall, without Elijah Vera Tucker, both of those guys done for the year after injuries. Who do you expect to replace both of those guys? Well, Brees Hall was dynamic for the Jets in between weeks four and six. He had accounted for 44% of the offense's touches. But the Jets have a lot of faith in Michael Carter, who led this team in rushing as a rookie last year. He's also a threat out of the backfield. We saw that against the Denver Broncos with that 37-yard reception. The team also traded for James Robinson from Jacksonville. He's a tough runner in between the tackles. And Ty Johnson, he possesses that sub-4-4 speed. You mentioned the tackle position. That's a big loss with the AVT. Cedric Abwehi, he's got a big assignment this week against Matthew Judon, who leads the National Football League in sacks on the other side watch Dietrich Wise against Jets veteran left tackle Dwayne Brown and also in the Jets backfield the Jets signed Zonovan Bam Knight to the active roster from the practice squad but when you're playing the Patriots EA two things really come into focus turnovers and special teams yeah listen the Jets have been great with the ball security of late three consecutive games without an interception or a fumble on the year. They are now in the plus territory. Over this four game win streak, they've been plus on each of those occasions. Conversely, the Patriots, they're taking the football away. One of the league uh, leaders in takeaways again, but they are 31st in the National Football League in giveaways. So Mac Jones is likely to get the ball. We're hearing out of New England this week. He's got six interceptions this season. That Jets secondary, very feisty, especially on the outside with Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed. I think this game can flip, not only from the turnover differential standpoint, but on special teams. Both of these teams have quality special teams units. These are two of the best in the game. And Matthew Slater, mm. who's been doing it for so long for the Patriots, and Justin Hardy for the Jets. Yeah, this game is going to be extremely exciting if you're a fan of either team. Jets-Patriots Sunday, MetLife Stadium at 1 o'clock.